Gordon? Point extraction. <gasps> Do I get the power? Gordon? I've come to rescue you. Let's get you out of this thing. Do I... How do I... Gordon? Oh! <gasps> That's not Gordon! That's not Gordon! What the turd? What the turd? We just... Wait... Oh my god, did we just... We freed... G-Man? Oh my lord, you're... Oh no... What a turd! What a turd! Perhaps what I am is not as important as what I can offer you in exchange for Kana. Oh my lord, why? We freed G Man. The fate of our worlds is inflexible. Oh my god, look at his eyes. Yeah, the thing with G-Man, nobody knows who he is or what. Would you want merged, Miss Van? The Combine off Earth. I want the Combine off Earth. Ah, that would be a considerably large nudge. <laughs> Too large, given the interests of my empire. What a turd. Like what? Oh, we actually see the suitcase. Oh my god, he's always carrying around the suitcase. What? Oh, what the junk? Wait, what? Is that me? Where am I? Oh, is it going to be like this? Yes, you were to take matters into your own hands. Oh, <gasps> oh my lord. I remember that. I remember that. Release your father. <gasps> oh, I wonder if I wonder if you can get multiple endings. Unlocked consequences. I got a achievement. I wonder if I get multiple endings if I don't do it. I wonder if. So he's okay, right? He lives. I think I just wasted like a wish or. I probably um boot like something. Oh, <gasps> crowbar. He's <laughs> talking about Gordon. Oh, <gasps> there he is. What? What? Oh my God. Wait, he actually has Gordon. What? That's how uh, Half Life One ends. Wait. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Subject: Alex Vance. 
status hired awaiting assignment that's how the game began it said subject alex vance oh my god that's it holy turd oh that is so bootleg we always get bootlegged by g-man at the end oh and now we're just stuck in like nothing oh that is so bootleg i wonder if i didn't save him if i got a different ending i might have to try to load it back and see but yeah pretty much the original half-life ends with um you choosing to either go with uh g-man or not if you don't you get like killed by these million enemies if you do it's the same thing you just disappear into nothing and in the expansions i think at least opposing forces same thing happens and now this one that's supposed to take place right after half-life one same thing happened to alex and like i said i don't remember um what happens in half-life 2 uh, it's been a long time but i remember that part with the giant worm thing taking uh her dad this game was awesome this is probably the greatest thing i've ever experienced in a game oh my god these this this is it sounds cheesy people have probably said it before but the vr is like something you've never played before and this is the first time i'm playing through an entire game in vr this was awesome holy turd every single chapter was something better like every single chapter was something different oh my god i wouldn't be surprised if it's the same people too like from the original game that was i'm gonna have to replay this game one day but for jake i guess somebody um hey that's me <laughs> jacob half-life alex oh my valve is back ladies and turds valve is back just you wait we're finally gonna get that half-life 3. oh they they did the little thing wait what wait what oh there's dog oh my god oh oh my god holy turd wait holy turd holy turd oh my god Holy turn. I think. Oh my. Did you see that? <laughs> what? And I guess it goes right to Half-Life 2. Or that's like a teaser for. I'm telling you. Half-Life 3 is coming. Portal 3 is coming as well. Like VR is where it's at. Holy turd. That was. I don't know what to say. <laughs> what the what just happened? Oh my god, they teased right after this Half-Life 3, it's gonna happen. I swear, I guess that's the beginning of Half-Life 2, but they have to. Oh, that is so cool. They actually play as Gordon for... I'm gonna wait and see if I get a, another ending, because usually there's two. If you agree or disagree with G-Man, I'm telling you, this entire game blew me away every chapter just keeps getting better i'm lost for words right now holy turd valve thank you for bringing half-life back like i said i've never played anything so interactive and so immersive as this all right i'm not gonna take the suitcase i'm gonna see what happens maybe i have to take it but i'll just wait a little bit and see if you know maybe if i turn around see how long i can wait here Maybe he's going to say something. Oh. Yeah, I, I did it. I Oh, no. Oh, they do that regardless if you 
pick up the suitcase or not. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Oh my god. All right, I'm gonna wait. See if I get like a bad ending or something. I'm gonna keep my hands down and I'll wait. If he says something or if they're gonna make me do it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna do it. I was hoping there'd be like a secret ending. I was also hoping that having the beer bottle, we would be able to give it back to Russell, get a little Easter egg. Good. Yeah, I guess. I thought there would be a secret ending. All right, so what did I think? What did I think of this game? Like I said, this was the greatest thing I've ever played. And I'm not surprised people said that about the previous Half-Life games. You know, when they were released in like, you know, the 90s and then like the early 2000s, like 2007 or eight or something. At the time when those games came out were revolutionary. People haven't played anything like that. Whereas, like I said, this feels exactly like that. Like I've never played something like Half-Life Alex before. And I don't know if I ever will. <laughs> I'm pretty confident that we're gonna get Half-Life 3 and Portal 3 after this. Like, there's no way they can't make something like this and then just not do anything else with it. Like, are you crazy? Especially with that tease after these credits? Yeah, I thought it was awesome. The headset was comfortable. I was playing for like six hours at a time. Grabbing everything was awesome. Interacting with it, you know, throwing things, writing on the wall. The entire section with Jeff gave me a heart attack. It was like a hoarder game. Holy turd, you're seeing, like I said, what you're seeing on the screen isn't even close to what you get and experience in this. I'm glad I recorded it and I'm glad, you know, I was able to save the entire playthrough. This reference at the end, oh my God. I was like, what, Gordon, what are you talking about? Gone, Holy turd. It's gonna happen. It. It's, there's dog. Oh my God. It's happening. It's, it's happening. It's happening. Like, uh, I don't know what else to say. Like it's Half-Life 3 is gonna happen. Like at this point, like, I mean, look, they already have, look at this. Look at this. They had the entire model already behind G-Man. Oh, wait, if I don't get the crowbar, is this the bad ending? Did something else happen or can I not? Oh, he just loads. <laughs> no, I guess I'll have to check the achievements on Steam. I swear that has to be a bad ending. And like I said, I was hoping maybe there'd be an Easter egg with Russell if I brought him his beer bottle. Each chapter I was blown away and I wasn't expecting like it surprised me every single time. I'm like, oh, you know, like, oh, this is how the game is going to be. No, they introduced something new. And then, you know, I was like, oh, you know, now you can like hold your breath when Jeff was running around. And then the Strider coming after you, I would honestly recommend. I think it's worth it. The uh, VR device, I think it's worth it, even though it's expensive, as well as the getting a computer that can run it. It's completely worth it. Like this game, I hope companies and developers, they use this as an example for what can be done in VR. The one thing I wish you could have done is actually grab items like a pan or something and damage enemies, you know, or like hit them, do something to them. You know, you can interact sometimes, like throw it and they move in junk, but I don't think it does damage or anything to them. But I guess they wanted it to be different. Like they didn't want you to feel like you're Gordon, you're Alex, so you have to use the guns and stuff. Whereas Gordon has at least a crowbar, you can smack stuff. All right, so what you just saw right now was my ending and reaction to Half-Life Alex one week ago. And throughout this entire, you know, seven days, I've been editing and uploading the streams here onto the playlist. But not only that, I can't stop thinking about the experience I had with, you know, the game. Each chapter was something new. But that's not why I'm here and what I'm here to talk about. I finished through Half-Life and the expansion, Opposing Forces, as well as Blue Shift. Because, you know, they were free on Steam and, you know, I was able to take advantage of that. So I'm familiar with Half-Life 1 because Half-Life Alex was supposed to come out right after that. Just a few minutes ago, and I'm trying to do some research, and on YouTube, I saw a video that connected uh, the Half-Life universe and the Portal. And it combined both games and it told the story from the first game all the way up to the end of, I think, like, Portal 2. And put it into, like, a story where it kind of told, you know, everything that happened. Um, in that series, in both of the game series. 
and so they actually showed you know half-life 2 and as that, they were showing it i was like oh my god like barry was there in half-life 2 how did i not know that eli vance was in half-life 1 like all these connections that i missed because i haven't played the game you know like from the first game to the second game I've played them, you know, one at a time, like I said, like the past like 10 years or something. The thing that blew me away and I wanted to talk about right here was the ending of Half-Life 2. I remembered it a little bit, like I remembered what happened to Eli and like what happened with Alex kind of, and like the cliffhanger with Half-Life 2, um, but it's been well over 10 years since I last played Half-Life 2. I wish I played or had enough time to play through Half-Life 2 as well before I played Half-Life Alex. The reason I say that is, as I was watching that video, as they were explaining the story and they were showing that it ends with, you know, I forgot what it's called, but that giant combine leader, that worm thing, taking out um, Eli Vance, and he's dead, and then, you know, it's about to go take Alex out too, and then cliffhanger, you know, the game ends right there. I, like, stood up from my chair and I'm like, oh my, holy fuck, because my brain just exploded. Valve just confirmed Half-Life 3 right there. Like I said, I didn't, you know, I didn't remember uh, all the stuff in Half-Life 2. But now, re-watching that video and the ending of Half-Life 2 and connecting to what happened at the ending of Half-Life Alex, I couldn't even talk. I was watching this and I was like, oh my god, they did it. Valve actually, Half-Life 3 is confirmed. And I just wanted to say right here, I know I'm rambling right now, but I wanted to say like, my mind is blown. I'm like, oh my god, they actually did it. Like I said, I wish I knew that before I beat Half-Life Alex. I wish I went back and had some time to finish Half-Life 2, um, but I didn't. So that's why I'm recording this here, because oh my god, my brain, like, oh my god. It happened, it finally happened, and, I, and it flew over my head. I was like, oh, is this Half-Life 3? Yeah! You know, I was being quiet because there's people in the kitchen, you know, I didn't want to, like, go crazy. But if I played Half-Life 2 before Half-Life Alex and I made it to the end, I probably would have started jumping and, you know, gone insane. Because a reveal like that deserves, <laughs> you know, like, standing ovation and, you know, cheers and everything because, holy turd. Holy turd, thank you Valve, thank you. And I understand how everything is connected now. I'll have to replay Portal on Half-Life 2 as well, you know, it's been a while, but... I'm telling you, my mind was blown right when I saw Eli, and you know, that scene recreated with what happens at the end of Half-Life Alex. I was like, whoa, wait, whoa, what happened with the turn? What? And then, you know, you get the choice. You know, Alex gets the choice to save him. And like I said, I was blown away. I was like, wait, what? So, you know, there you go, Half-Life 3 confirmed. I just wanted to add this to the ending there. You know, one week later, I just beat the game, and it's probably my favorite game ever made now. Like, the entire experience in that VR headset, like, made me feel like I was actually in the world and interacting with everything. It's been, like I said, one week, and I'm still trying to use, you know, my hands as the Russells in real life, but it's not working. I'm so glad nobody spoiled that for me though. The thing I wanted to say in the streams, but I didn't want to, you know, give it away, is people on YouTube and like articles and everything, they're posting thumbnails with a G-Man and, you know, you know, like they're posting these, like they're spoiling, the, like I would say the best reveal and like the, I mean, you don't know it's at the ending, but, you know, I've seen those thumbnails and like those article like pictures, I didn't even know you know, G-Man was in the game. I mean, I kind of assumed he'd be there. I was looking for him. He's in every Half-Life. But I didn't really need to know he was like, confirmed in there. I don't know if that makes sense. You know, it's kind of a spoiler. And it kind of ruins, you know, the surprise at the end that it's not, you know, Gordon. Even then, though, oh my god. <laughs> my mind, like I said, is just blown right now. You know, like my hands are shaking and I have, like, the goosebumps just from thinking about this you know i after i beat the game i said to myself i was like half-life 3 is coming back in vr and so is portal 3 like it's it, it's not our uh, valve making those two games but when are they coming out like that's the question here because you know they're gonna make it 
But yeah, this just confirms it. And then the fact that Eli is alive, you get dog coming out of nowhere. I didn't even notice this. I was looking at Easter eggs. If you look to the left in Half-Life Alex, right at the end where there's Eli, you know, with the crowbar, G-Man, he's staring at you and he walks away. Like Valve did it. They pretty much, they made a new Half-Life game, completely revolutionized VR, just to announce Half-Life 3. Who does that? <laughs> like what the turd? It might be expensive, some people think it's a gimmick. But like I said, it's, it's, it is my favorite game ever made now. Like I understand now. When people played the original Half-Life or Half-Life 2 when it came out and it changed their view on what games could be, Half-Life Alex did that for me, like in VR. I never felt so immersed in a video game before I played that game. Like, holy turd. Every single chapter was something new, and it kept me on edge and like, I wanna play it again, like, seeing the achievements. And there's like a huge easter egg with that whole like, gnome thing from Half-Life 2. The fact that Valve put that in there, the amount of like, detail and care shows that they love Half-Life. They still got it, and they were able to put that into the VR game. Thanks for watching. If anyone did watch my entire playthrough from start to finish, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I apologize, parts 5 and 6 have missing audio for the game. I could hear it, but for some reason it wasn't showing up. My recordings, like, it's all missing, so it's kind of bootleg. But yeah, if you watched that and you enjoyed it, you know, please tell me. Or if you would like to see me, you know, stream Half-Life 2 as well. I'm excited, Valve is making games again. I am very happy to see that. And my hands, like I said, they are still shaking. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I've, I've talked enough. Um, hopefully one day I can get the big boxes versions of Blue Shift and Opposing Forces as well as Half-Life 2. I don't know if Half-Life 2 had like a giant box like this, the classic like PC, you know, boxes, but that'd be cool. Thanks for watching though, I'm talking too much. I'll see you on another lovely live stream, video, review, whatever. Thanks for watching, see you next time. <laughs> I had to do it, I don't know why, my favorite sound in the entire series is the like healing sound. <laughs> Doodled everyone. Adios.